Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 no. Not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. She is... solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be! Come on, lad, no time like the present. Come on, come on, she won't bite. Half sail! Ah! Your killer flies again! Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Let's fly, full sail. Unfurl everything, full, full sail. sail. Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Dusty winds can be difficult to manage. Wind. Now, take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. Ease her off! Mind those other vessels! Hold your tail to keep your right of way!
Cottages. We're close. Hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. <laughs> After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbook. Hmm. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> Could you finally realize you're a shite sailor? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. Check the hatches! Half sail! Half sail, men! What the bloody hell was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young pup was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the Crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Eat her up! Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spot of target practice. Bring around Full broadside, stop. and when all guns are on target, call fire. <laughs> fire! Take that to the deep! Well done, boy! Reload! Now, aim Reload! all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Prepare to fire! Fire! It's Navy Jones, the old man! Never get so! Not bad for a spot, Captain. <laughs> you are a fast learner. Provided something interests me. Ah. Getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. 
The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Shooting at us. What do we do? No else but to fight back. Sink the bastard. Another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? I got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. Few weeks, and not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You have your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now, you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor.
back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is gonna get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Testing, one, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures, running diagnostics. Perfect, I've got a nice strong signal. Just a heads up, there's no elevator access from here on out. You'll have to get up there the old fashioned way. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on the not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively at the pace. Shut up, Sean. Almost 
there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Shot! Joke! It was a joke! Or was it? That wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the counter. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but... It turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. we could be saved. We sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. Ugh. <sighs> 
we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace. Perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. I wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out.